What is going on, everyone? We are back in our Raiders franchise week nine. We are at the midway point of the season. We're going to take a look around the league, and then we will get into our game against the four and three Chiefs. So first up, the standings. The Steelers in the lead in the AFC North. They have a two-game lead over the Bengals, the Browns, and the Ravens at two and five. AFC South, it's the Jaguars and Titans tied at four and four. Colts right behind them at three and four, and then the Texans at two and five. The AFC East is going to be the Jets at five and two. The Patriots, Bills, and Dolphins all at three and four. Surprise standings here in the AFC East. And then on to the AFC West, it's going to be your Raiders sitting in first at 6-1. and one. Broncos right behind us at 5-2. and two. Chiefs at 3-3. Three and three. And then the Chargers at 3-4. and four. Now we will make our way over to the NFC. Starting with the NFC North, it's going to be the Bears at 6-2. and two. The Packers and the Lions at 4-3. and three. The Lions are 4-3-1 and one with one tie. And then the Vikings are at 3-5. and five. On to the NFC South. It is going to be the Saints in first place at five and two. Buccaneers behind them at five, four and four. The Falcons at three and four, and the Panthers at three and five. Next up is going to be the NFC East, and in this one, it's going to be the Cowboys with a five-game winning streak at five and two in the lead. Actually, excuse me, tied with the Eagles at five and two as well. Giants at three and four, and the Redskins bring up the rear at two and six. And then finally, the last division, the NFC West. It's the Cardinals at two and six, and look at this: the Seahawks two and five, the Rave or the 49ers one and six, and the Rams oh six and one. So the Cardinals, all over it in the NFC West. That is the uh, that's a very surprising sight there. But onto the stats: Chase Moss, the rookie, doing very well to start his career. 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns, six interceptions. Griffin 256, five TDs, and two picks in the limited time he saw. Darren Ellis having himself a season, 758 yards, 10 touchdowns, 100 yards a game. Latavius Murray, because of that, only has 34 carries. Amari Cooper and our other top target, Brandon Cooks, both with 28 catches, but Cooks a lot more yards because of the average. 557 for him, 359 for Cooper, six touchdowns for Cooks, and three for Cooper. It's going to be five touchdowns for Ellis and the third leading receiver, Tavon Austin, nine for 196 in a TD. Luke Jackson, the tight end, with three touchdowns. And then the defense, ha, Clinton Dix leading the team with 57 tackles. Matthew behind him with 56 tackles for loss. Bruce Irvin's going to have 10. Khalil Mack with 8. He's also going to have 11 and a half sacks. Next closest is 3. Alden Smith, Khalil Mack. What a first half of the season for him. He's chasing some records here. And then interceptions, Eric Darman, the middle linebacker with 2. And then we only have 2 other picks besides that. So yet again, another season with not a lot of interceptions from our secondary but that is the update for Around the League. Now we move on. Week 9, we are going to be taking on the 4-3 and three Kansas City Chiefs. So here we go. We're going to have the ball first. Darren Ellis with the carry, and he's going to pick up a first down on the very first carry of the game. Actually, he's not going to get the first down. Be going to be inches short, so 30 inches. He will pick it up here in a lot more than uh, the 30 inches. He's going to pick up 14 on that carry. So second and four now from the 45-yard line. It's going to be Ellis again as we are just feeding this man. As you saw, he is averaging over 100 yards per game and really picking up right where Latavius Murray left off the previous three seasons. Now first and 10, it's going to be a pass, but it's going to be a sack. But look at this. Penalty is on the defense. It's holding on Davon House, and that is going to give us a free first down. Like the way this first drive is going, second and one now. It's going to be Moss, and he's looking, and he's going to find Luke Jackson, and he has the touchdown, and we will take an early 7 to nothing lead. Actually, we won't take an early 7 to nothing lead. We actually missed the extra point. I didn't include it in here, but Alex Smith coming in at quarterback. We missed the extra point. There's 15 mile per hour wins. I wasn't paying attention. We missed the extra point. So 6 to nothing here as the Chiefs take over. It's going to be Jacquiz Rodgers in at running back. He's going to have nowhere to go. So third and nine, the Chiefs looking to avoid a quick three and out here. It's going to be Smith halfback screen, but he's not going to find anybody. He's going to be sacked in the backfield. That's going to be Darman in for the sack. So we are going to have the ball back. We started out with a third and 13 here from the 45. It's going to be Moss looking. He's going to find Jackson again. Another big catch for Lucas Jackson. He's down to the 27, and already we are in field goal range. Now second and eight from the 25. It's going to be Moss handed it off to Darren Ellis, and he is going to be dropped for a big loss. Four yards for him lost on that play. So third and 12 now. It's going to be Moss looking for the completion, and he's not going to get it hit as he throws, and that will be his first incompletion of the game. So out for the field goal down. I already told you the win problems, and we missed the field goal as we just cannot figure out the win direction and the power in this one. So still a 6 to nothing game, a bit of a wasted possession there. But back come the Chiefs. It's going to be Mal with the reception. 
as that's going to be Smith's first completion of the game. Now third and five as the Chiefs looking to keep the drive alive. Last minute of the first quarter, the catch is going to be made by Jeremy Macklin, but good tackle there from Dominic rogers Cromartie. So fourth down, I'm showing you the punt. That means something good is going to happen, and look at this. The Cheeky Chiefs trying to go for it. The throw is made, and it's going to be knocked away. TJ Carey, nice job defending the play, and we will take over on down. So first and 10, Moss looking for a big play here, and he is going to find one. Amari Cooper down the field to the 28th, and again, just like that, we're back in field goal range. Hopefully we don't have to kick another field goal since we missed them all, but here we go, second and 13 from 31. Moss looking, no one's open. He tries to take off. We see a receiver late, but we cannot get it away in time, and we'll be taken down for the sack. So third and very long now. 18 yards is what we're looking for. We're in the second quarter now, and Moss going up, and look at this, a wide open Percy Harvin, and it's another touchdown. What a find for the rookie QB. Now we're going to go for two to try and get those points back. And this is not going to work. We throw an interception off the deflection. Doesn't count since it's a two-point conversion, but that is going to fail. So 12 to nothing your score now as the Chiefs with relatively zero offense. They have 12 passing yards, not many more rushing yards. But here Smith looking. He's going to throw before he gets hit, and this is going to work out. We brought a big blitz. The Chiefs are able to pick it up, and Smith makes the big completion. So second and four now. From the 43-yard line, Alex Smith going to hand it off to Jacquez Rogers. He's got the edge, and he's going to pick up the first down, taken down at the 49-yard line. He now has 15 yards on four carries. It's going to be second and 10 now from the 50. It's Alex Smith looking quick throw. He's going to find Justin Blackman for close to a first down. I think he's just a little bit short. Nope, he would pick that one up. So first and 10, it's going to be Smith now. Shotgun with Rodgers to his right. He's going to hand it off to Rodgers. He's going to kick it outside. He's got the blocks. He's got the edge. And it's going to be Jock Quiz down inside the 15 to the 10. Nice carry. Nice play call there from the Chiefs. So first and 10 now. The Chiefs looking to put some points on the board. And it's going to be a halfback screen. And again, it's not going to work as we catch that one easily. Shane Florence is going to be in there for the sack. So now second and 23 for the Chiefs as they're going the wrong direction. And how's this for the wrong direction? Another sack as Smith is brought down. I believe that was Irvin on the sack that time. So now third and 29. The Chiefs need something here as Smith a lot of time to throw, but no one's open. And look at this, Khalil Mack, the third straight sack, and the Chiefs are knocked out of field goal range. They have to punt it. So two minutes to go in this half. We're looking to put some more points on the board. Look at the nifty spin move there from Darren Ellis and then fighting off that Chiefs defender to get the first down out to the 46 as we now have it second and five from the 41. 138 to go. We still have all three timeouts so we can take our time. Halfback screen, that is not going to work as the halfback screens in this game not working for either team. Moss still just one incompletion in this half. Very, very efficient game for him. Now third and 10. It's going to be Moss looking. And again, we try to get away. Just not quick enough. We saw a receiver again late, but we can't get it to him. So here's the punt. As I'm showing you a lot of punts in this game, but let's see what King can do as this one is going to bounce at just inside the five. And it's going to stick. Can we get to it quick enough? Yes, we can. Down at the one. What a coffin corner punt. So here we go. Can we get a safety? As the pressure going to come in, the play is called right. It's going to be down, but I don't think it is. No, they do give us the safety. I do not think... He was in the end zone, but they are going to give it to us. So we'll take the two points. That makes up for the missed extra point and the failed two-point conversion. So we go into half. The screen did freeze there at halftime. So don't worry. It's okay. Game is good. 14 to nothing. headed into the third quarter. The Chiefs fail on their first drive, so we have it now. And it's going to be Percy Harvin. Another reception. 180 yards for Moss on his 11 of 13 day so far. What a game for him. Second and four now. We're making a last-second adjustment. Play action. And it's going to be a sack as I tried to adjust the play, seeing the pressure from the Chiefs, but they still get to us. So third and 16, it's going to be Moss throwing downfield. And you got to be kidding me. Amari Cooper is just playing with these guys. What a catch from him as he picks up a first down, down to the 31-yard line. So first and 10 now, we're going back to Ellis. And he's got a huge hole to run through, an easy first down as he picks up. 12 on the play. He's very close to 100 yards, and he'll pick up that 100 yards on this play as he beats the defender outside, and he's down to the 10-yard line now, 105 yards rushing. So third and one here as we have Latavius Murray in the backfield. A little change of pace here as he's going to find the outside. Can he get to the end zone? No, and Murray is just going to be dropped short. A couple Chiefs there to stop him, but he's down at the one. So first and goal from the one-yard line. 
Play action here. We have a receiver. It's going to be Jackson, but we overthrow the receiver. Such an easy touchdown right there. The first bad throw Moss has made all game. So third and goal now as we are very close to failing on this drive. It's going to be Moss, and we are going to fail. The pass is incomplete. The pressure from the Chiefs, but you know what? Let's go for it. Why not? Fourth and goal from the one. We're not going to make it all the way down here and not put seven points on the board. So Ellis is going to take the pitch, and he's easily going to find the end zone. So fourth down works. We get the touchdown, and it's now going to be a 21 to nothing game. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. The Chiefs offense absolutely non-existent for this game. Let's see if Alex Smith can change that. As he's going to find Justin Blackman, only going to pick up four yards, though, as he has 58, only one complete incompletion, but only 58 yards passing for Alex Smith as we are about to approach the fourth quarter. Third and 12 now. Smith going to drop back to throw. He's going to find a receiver, but it's going to fall incomplete. Should have been intercepted there, but it's going to fall incomplete. So we will get the ball back as it's now second and eight. Final play should be of the third quarter. We're going to find Luke Jackson, the first down, the tight end having himself a game. Now 222 yards passing for Chase Moss as we now enter the fourth quarter. Back to Darren Ellison. Look at the spin move from Ellis. He gets down to the 27-yard line. What a day this man is having as well as we now have it second and one from the 18. It's going to be Cooper in motion. It's going to be a pitch back to Latavius Murray, and he is going to use his speed. Gets caught at the 11, but 23 yards for him on three carries. So now from the 11, it's first down. Moss shotgun empty backfield. The quick throw facing pressure. It's going to be Mario Cooper catching it, and he's going to stay up trying to fight, and he is going to fight into the end zone. What a play from Amari Cooper. The absolute hustle and work to get into the end zone. And it's now going to be 28 to nothing as this game, absolutely all Raiders. But look at the Chiefs fighting back. Michael Rivera, you remember him, our old tight end signed with the Chiefs a couple years ago. He's going to make the catch there. So second and four now from the 40. It's going to be Smith, shotgun, bad snap. But he's going to get it down to Rodgers, and he will pick up a first down. Seven yards for him on that carry. So first and 10 now from the 33-yard line. Just over seven minutes to go in this game as another halfback screen. This one's actually going to work. And look at Rodgers to the outside, out of bounds at the 21. And the Chiefs, can they put some points on the board here? Third and one, though. Can we get a stop? It's going to be Smith looking, throwing. That's an easy completion as a poor defensive play there. Carey makes the tackle, but it's going to be a first down for the Chiefs. So third and goal here from the three. Can we get a stop? Let's keep seven off the board, but we cannot. Jeremy Macklin is going to be his man, and he's got the touchdown. So the Chiefs score. But that's going to be it. We run out the remainder of the clock. We're going to win this one 28-7. What an absolutely dominating performance. Look at the offensive numbers. 81 yards passing for the Chiefs. 70 yards rushing as we are all over them in this one. No turnovers for either team. Chase Moss goes 16 of 21 for 243 yards and three touchdowns. Alex Smith going to have 22 attempts, 14 completions, 128 yards, and that one touchdown. What a great job from the Raiders defense. Darren Ellis, 26 for 140. John Quiz, 11 for 64. Latavius Murray, 5 for 24. Smith has one carry and is going to get six yards from that one. Amari Cooper, nice game, 7 for 104 in a TD. Luke Jackson, 3 for 66 in a TD. Harvin, 2 for 53 in a touchdown. And then you see the Chiefs there. On defense, Eric Darman is going to have 10 sacks to go along with three tackles for loss and a sack. Chandler, Chandler Jones with a sack, and Khalil Mack is going to pick up two. Irvin and Smith pick one up as well. And then no interceptions, as I said, but the safety is going to go to Darman. And you know what? This is a perfect guy, I think, to reward the defense. I'm going to give Eric Darman MVP for week number nine. Ten tackles leads the team. Three tackles for loss leads the team. Add a sack and a safety that is a complete performance I think from Eric Darman so he will earn MVP if you think it should have went to someone else leave a comment down below who you feel was week 9 MVP but we move on now to week 10 and we're licking our chops again as we have the 2 and 6 Browns coming into town so we'll see if we can get another win and possibly move to 8 and 1 as we begin now getting into the second half of the season we'll start paying attention to the playoffs a little bit more as I'll update you again in a couple weeks but that is going to be it for this one if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and give it a like I'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.